Happy Scrapper, Happy Scrapper, Happy Scrapper, whoa. Get ready to watch a Happy Scrapper video. Happy Scrapper, yeah, yeah, here we go. Okay, guys, in this video, we're going to talk about uh, pot metal. I've had several questions uh, from uh, subscribers and uh, viewers of the videos wanting to know the difference between uh, pot metal and, say, cast aluminum or aluminum. And I think what the problem is they're seeing that uh, pot metal doesn't have uh, any or very little uh, magnetic value. So they'll, they'll stick a magnet to some of this stuff and uh, a magnet doesn't stick to it. So they assume that it's uh, aluminum of some type when it's not. Uh, some of the most common things that you're gonna see made out of pot metal or some people call it monkey metal, uh, white metal, uh, die cast zinc. Uh, I think some of the professional names of it is uh, like Zomac and uh, Maymac, and that's just some of the companies, uh, some of the foundries in New Jersey uh, name some of it. I don't know, it has something for, uh, to do with the percentage of zinc anyway. It's, it's, it's really not important, but. Some of the things that you'll see made out of it, is, is any, anything really that needs to have a kind of a fine cast or a precise cast like uh, uh, plumbing fittings, some car fittings, uh, toys. You'll see a lot of uh, matchbox cars, just the older, older toy. Matchbox cars, Hot Wheels will be made uh, of uh, pot metal or uh, die cast. A lot of people still refer to them as die cast cars. Uh, this is a cast aluminum piece there uh, that goes on top of a sink. Uh, and one of the easiest ways that you can tell the difference between pot metal and die cast or cast uh, aluminum would be the weight. And we'll show you that. We'll grab these two, two pieces here and uh, walk over to the uh, scale that I used. You guys can uh, ignore my dirty garage. But if you're weighing this stuff out, uh, to me that's the easiest. And you can test and see what it sounds like when it hits the floor. But the easiest way is, is to weigh the stuff out because if you're out uh, on a job and you're wanting to uh, you test this stuff before you take it straight to the scrap yard or whatever, you don't want to come back and do some kind of acid test on it or water displacement or some kind of crazy stuff like that. You just want a real simple test. And if you can tell, we put that cast aluminum piece on our scale and it, and it hardly shows anything at all. It hardly moves the, the scale, just uh, maybe a couple ounces. Now this piece is, is cast, die cast, pot metal. And you can see kind of compared to the, to the size, the volume's probably just about the same as probably what it would displace. When you put it on scale, see there's almost three pounds. So that's that's the biggest and easiest difference, easiest way rather, to uh, to test if something's pot metal. You can also heat it up. Uh, you know, if you have some way of torture heating it up or something pot metal with a lot of zinc in it, it's going to give off a white colored smoke. Uh, but like I said, that that's dangerous to, uh, to if you breathe that in and you don't want to be a uh, use an open flame if you don't need to. Another way to tell, I don't know if you're gonna be able to focus in on this or not, is uh, it's gonna be real dark and a grainy texture on the inside of the metal compared to aluminum. It's smooth and, and fairly shiny. Now look at that, that focused in good, but this didn't. There, there we go. See how that's kind of a grainy look on the inside of that? real dark gray that's a real good way to tell that it's a uh, a mix or a pot uh, pot metal and it, it just it just doesn't age well either it's going to pit uh, you'll see this on uh, like some of the the old Dotsons uh, had some grills that were made out of pot metal most all of your older cars with a huge uh, hood ornaments and stuff, they're going to be a, a pot metal. 
that's you know you'll see those that uh, they'll pit real easy they're bad to, to bubble uh, it's just a weak uh, metal it's not very good it's easy to cast but it's not uh, uh, something that's gonna hold up for very long and another way that you can tell I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this with one hand or not but kind of get this bent out here it's it's real easy to bend and break now on the, on the matchbox cars and stuff of course it's smaller and and uh, a little bit different mix but see how easy that was to break off with just uh, just one hand bending that back and forth. Now if that was uh, extruded aluminum or, or cast aluminum, uh, it would it would have bent, but not near as easy, and it would have been fairly hard to try to to get that done. Now most of the time, uh, pop metal is is going to be have a zinc base. It's going to have a whole lot of zinc, but it could have uh, I don't know, lead, it could have copper, uh, tin, magnesium, uh, small amounts of aluminum, even small amounts of iron and cadmium. Uh, it's just really whatever they want to mix together to, uh, to produce whatever they're, they're casting. And another way, being in the field, to tell the difference uh, between the two is what you're using, what you're picking up. If, if it's gonna be a toy like that, that it's, it's cheap, consumable uh, type thing, it's most likely gonna be pot metal. Uh, drawer pulls, drawer handles, uh, knobs, furniture parts, some appliance parts are gonna be uh, pot metal. Now when you get into cast aluminum, which we'll make another video on that, uh, cast aluminum you can you can have different uh, parts uh, cast aluminum for uh, you know automobile parts and and just about uh, anything on the aluminum side but but pot metal is usually cheap stuff uh, not necessarily the product being cheap but it the manufacturing process of the product being uh, cheaper than most that's when your pot metals are going to come in and why would it be important to to tell the, the difference between the two if you have a nice load of aluminum and mistakenly throw in a, a piece of pot metal, uh, depends on your yard. If you haven't been to that yard before and don't have a working relationship with them, then you know they could just pay you a real low cost for the entire load of uh, aluminum that you've got in there because of one piece of uh, piece of pot metal. And then you know if you've got a good working relationship with your yard, you don't want to to cheat them either. You don't want to throw in a big heavy piece of pot alum, pot metal, I keep saying aluminum, pot metal into your aluminum and it just, you know, you're cheating them out of, out of what uh, value would be coming from that. So uh, let me go out and pet my dog and we'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, I had to run out and pet the dog. Uh, got a couple of rescue dogs and uh, the newest one I've got, if he's out of sight uh, of you he just goes crazy but anyway this is another piece of uh, pot metal hoping this will that you'll be able to focus in on that pretty good i've hit that with a grinder a couple of times in a couple of different places and again if you'll see how dark gray that is uh compared if you were to hit something with uh aluminum it would be a much shinier uh reflection of, of the light there that uh, when you get that ground out and like I say that's another good way that you can that you can tell but the weight and what you're you're uh, collecting in your scrap is the best way to be able to to tell the difference uh, when you've got pot metal and aluminum and die cast and cast aluminum are completely different things. Uh, cast aluminum is simply just the melted aluminum that's been poured into a die to cast a, a product. Uh, and then die cast is is more a referring to the actual metal itself uh, as far as what commonly people talk about. Uh, uh, so we don't, you don't wanna get those two terms confused uh, 
either. It's uh, most of the time aluminum is either going to be cast aluminum, extruded aluminum, uh, just like car wheels can be uh, a solid block of aluminum that they've milled down or uh, they can actually cast some types of, uh, uh, I don't know if they cast car wheels or not, with, I don't know about that, but anyway, you don't want to get those two confused. So hope that uh, helps you out. If you have any other questions, make sure you uh, put a comment down below and I'll make sure to uh, uh, reply back to that comment in a timely manner. And again, I haven't said this on a lot of videos, but I guess I start need to. I, I guess I need to start doing that. If you like what we do or what I do with the uh, scrap videos, uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell, so you'll know when the next video is coming up, and that lets YouTube know that we're or me, I'm a good guy, and that other people need to watch what we're doing and uh, hopefully learn. So, remember, if you have a question or a comment, or if you got a way that you uh, think you can do it better. Uh, make sure you put the, a comment down below so other people can learn and uh, we can uh, keep going forward with this, cleaning up the world and making a little money as we do it. Again, uh, thank you guys for watching and happy scrapping.